What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live once again from the simulation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a nice, you know, cyberpunk 80s, you know, retro robot voice. And you know, it's really simple. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna break down the process of how I got this effect. I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can, you know, emulate this and put this in your projects. And you know, you guys could go ahead and sauce up your own stuff. So I have a track right here where I have the effect in motion. I have a hook with the effect on it. And then I have a verse with no effect, but the ad libs that are behind the main vocals have this robotic effect. So I don't know what I'm really gonna call this effect. I'll just call it the robot effect for now. There's probably a name for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and play the song and then I'll break down the process. time to show you guys how I got that effect so it's real simple so all you got to do right here is add this plugin to your vocal chain and this plugin is called Ovox and Ovox if you're not familiar with Ovox it's a waves plugin a lot of these uh, plugins I use for my mix I'm really like keen to using waves waves is one of my favorite uh, audio plugins to use for multiple things but the plugin is Ovox it's kind of like a vocoder like Vox robot plugin that you can add to your voice you can add to instruments you can add to all kinds of stuff for this i used the voice and i used um it's pretty simple i used the c major scale and it has different scales so you would click this they got chords they got harmonies they got scales they got all kinds of stuff but for this song it's in c major so i got a c major scale i locked it in and you can go ahead and tweak it so they have all kinds of presets all kinds of things you could do to the voice right here. All these knobs are keen in to making that robotic effect. You can go through presets and just keep the key in lock. So I could lock this and I can go through all the presets and it would remain the same key. So that's really useful. So this is, I think the default setting. And then I just put the correct scale it should be in. One thing I recommend when you're using this plugin is to have your vocals tuned all the way with the auto tune really good. You could even go as far, far as um, using new tone and making sure everything is perfect if you really want that robotic sound. But I'm gonna play this section, the hook that you just heard without the, without the box sound effect. So it already has that effect. It already has that, you know, that that robotic effect on it somewhat. It has its in tune, it has, you know, the vibe going, everything going. The reason it sounds so low is because when you add Ovox, it really boosts everything and it creates all of this, I guess you could say, like harmony. So, And 
then I have this section right here that you guys didn't hear. But this is uh, just me messing with the plugin. So um, one way I recommend recording with this is you kind of want to like how you just heard in that vocal before I added the Ovox. You want to really exaggerate your voice with this plugin if you're recording live. You really want to, you know, I recommend if you're going to use this on some vocals and you're recording, I recommend to go ahead, throw this plugin on your vocal chain and just hear yourself live. Just route it. If you're not familiar with routing, you know, in FL Studio, let's say you have your mic right here. And then you would um, right click uh, this right here, route to this channel only. And now when I record, it will have it, all these effects. I can hear it on the playback. So I will be able to hear all of this stuff, the Ovox. And then when I stop the recording, it'll put it right here. And I can go ahead and tweak all the settings or turn it off. It's never good to record with effects. If you see in my videos that I post on the channel, when you record with effects, you can really mess up everything. Because let's say I record a song, I have reverb on it, auto-tune on it, distortion on it, and then I don't like those sounds. I want to take them off. It's already engraved into the vocals. You can't undo it. You can't change it. And if you try to change it, you're going to have problems because you're going to have muffleness. It's it's impossible. It's impo It would be like getting a song that has already lyrics on it, somebody rapping on it, and you're trying to separate it. It might be able to work, but you'll faintly hear things, and it's just, you know, make it easy for you to go back. I recommend 100% do not record with anything, even if it's a limiter, even if it's anything. You don't need to record with anything. You can always route your vocals to the channel you want to record because... Like I said, you're going to engrave something into the vocals that you cannot go back and fix. I've seen people use this. You know, this is, a, I guess, a free version of what I'm doing, but it's a little more complicated. It's not like the push of a button. You really got to go in here and mess with it and alter it. And if you're not familiar with this, this is a free plugin built in in FL. It's a stock plugin, and it's essentially the same thing. You just got to put more work into it, like the choir effect. You can control it right here male to female you can control it right here i think this is more vocal presence but yeah you could really really go in here and uh do the same thing just mess around with this i can do a tutorial on uh vocal decks if you guys are you know interested in that but yeah this is a quick video i thought i'd show you guys a lot of people are interested in these little effects you know and it's these little things that really bring life and character to your tracks so if you guys like the video and you guys want to see more of my content go ahead and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell i'd upload daily videos on multiple topics whether it be vocal effects top fives podcasts there's a lot of stuff here that you could really learn i even upload my own music if you're interested in that and if you're an artist or a producer and you want to go ahead and get feedback on your tracks or you want to work and collaborate with me or join a community full of other artists and producers, go ahead and join my Discord server. It'll be linked below. We have over 200 members and we're ever growing and we're constantly helping each other out with free sample packs, free courses, free drum kits, all kinds of stuff. Really, everything that you need to be the ultimate artist is in this server. And I know there's other servers out there and honestly, I believe that they can, you know, stop your growth as an artist with all these people becoming, you know, artists during, you know, the pandemic. There's a lot of people that really try to tell you what direction to take your creativity at here. We just educate you. Everybody has a different sound. Everybody's different. And we just want to see everybody shine. So if that's something you want to be a part of, join my Discord community. Link below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content. My name is Virtual Beats. And I'm signing out the simulation.